startled and shaken. Now at five, an earthquake rattles millions across Southern California. The second significant quake this week. Good evening and thank you for joining us on KCAL News at 5 on CBS Los Angeles. I'm Pat Harvey. And I'm Jasmine Veal in for Chauncey Glover. We are also streaming live on CBS News Los Angeles. Well, this magnitude 4.2 earthquake was centered in the community of Lytle Creek in the Cajon Pass, where the San Andreas and San Jacinto faults come together. And KCAL News reporter Jeff Nguyen shows us the shaking near the epicenter. It's been such a long time. Kara Torgerson was working behind the bar at Scotland's store when the nerve-rattling shaking hit. We were kind of frozen, just scared. The Lido Creek business sits near the epicenter. Some of the ceramic decorations and a coffee container fell off the shelves. Was it one jolt or a couple of jolts? Or it was one jolt and a rumble. In Fontana, some easy listening music got a violent interruption and the family dog got a jolt when the living room shook. Up the road, workers at this Del Taco felt the quake. I was washing the dishes in the back and I started to feel the rumble and I just yelled earthquake and I peeked my head around the side and they all just kind of looked in shock and we all just went back to our normal work. On Lido Creek Road, the quake was strong enough to cause rocks to fall from a hillside near Christina Hernandez's home. You could hear the roar, and that's one of the things that's probably the scariest. And we have a cat that just came flying down the stairs from the second floor and zipped around and was meowing. And, you know, the animals were really shaken up. We were too. The quake measured 4.2. I can tell you it felt a lot stronger than that. It was really quite the shake. We thought, is this the big one? Is this the big one coming? You know what I mean? The quake was felt as far as West LA and Long Beach. In Lytle Creek, Jeff Nguyen, KCAL News.